Hello, what's up my ladies? It's Andrea here and I have a Dollar Tree haul for y'all. It's been like what? I think six or seven days since I posted my last Dollar Tree haul and I had some stuff that I've been waiting to show you guys but it's just been so hectic and so busy and well let's see. The first thing is for the past few weeks uh, a friend of my husband's has been staying here um, he's been going to truck driving school and where he lives there wasn't a truck driving school near there so we let him stay here for a few weeks and you know we don't have a big house our house is like 976 square feet um, he's been staying in the basement and I've just been having a hard time finding my little corner of private time to be able to do one of these hauls so that's been slowing me down and also um, my nieces and my brother-in-law asked me a few weeks ago if they could use our house to host a surprise party for my sister's 50th birthday party and well it's my sister of course I have to say yes so Friday was really hectic and crazy and then Saturday not only did we do a garage sale in our driveway for a few hours, but we we're also running around trying to get this surprise party together. And um, and then Sunday came, and let's see, Sunday my husband got baptized, and then we went out to lunch afterward. And by the time we got home, it was I think like six or seven o'clock, and doing laundry, and then going to bed, and starting the work week and so needless to say I am really exhausted <laughs> I'm really exhausted but I've had this stuff like I said and I just really had to get myself together and put together this video um, another thing that happened was let's see Sunday amidst all the craziness um, we went to Dollar Tree, my husband and I. He wanted to get a card for his friend for graduating truck driver school. And, of course, I wanted to see if there was anything new. So, here I am, putting all this cute, cool stuff in my cart. And, let's see, I don't know. We're probably there for about 15, 20 minutes. I had found some things that were totally new to me and I was really excited to get. And then, all of a sudden... Half the lights go out in the store, and we hear people at the register saying they can't ring anybody up. Apparently, the store lost power, or the plaza, the whole plaza where the store was, lost power. So, we're like, okay, well, let's wait a few minutes and see if it kicks back on. So, for about another, I don't know, five minutes, people kind of kept going around the store. I kept going around the store picking up a couple here things here and there. And next thing I know, one of the workers comes down the aisle and says, um, yeah, everyone has to leave. We're closed. I'm like, oh my gosh. No, <laughs> we just no. But yes, I got kicked out of Dollar Tree. So um, my husband still needed the card and he still wanted to get a couple balloons so we drove to another Dollar Tree which it's not really that far it, with traffic and everything you know it probably takes 10-15 minutes to get there but I found a few of the things that I had in my cart at the other store but um, I did end up not finding something so it was a bummer okay so one of the things that I found um, I'm still like on the hunt for all these false graph coffee mugs um, there's just so many cool ones out there and I actually was at Myers a couple weeks ago or last week I don't know but I saw some of these false graph mugs they weren't the exact ones I've been seeing at Dollar Tree but they were the false graph mugs and they were selling them for $5.99 so you know they're out there and you know I don't know why we're getting some we're getting so many um, 
they seem fine to me. I know some people said that some of the words were wrong, the spelling was wrong, but I haven't noticed that in the ones I've been getting. So anyways, let me go through and show you the ones that I have found. So I found this one here. It says, congratulations, you've made it out of bed. Really cute. And this one here with lemons and they had one that had uh, peaches on them as well this one here says it's a perfect day and it's just an airplane really pretty I will drink you under the table <laughs> cute this one is just really beautiful Grow happiness. Life is better at the lake. And we have a lot of lakes in Michigan, so I had to have this one. Discover new horizons. Really pretty. And I love how, you know, it goes all the way around the mugs. And then this one I thought was just great for Father's Day. Perfect for Father's Day. Oh, uh, great fishing. So, and this one, this one's um, shaped a little differently than the other ones. I don't know if you can tell, but really nice size mugs. I just love them. And as long as I keep finding new ones, I am going to keep getting them because... As I mentioned previously, uh, some of these will be used as gifts for birthdays, Christmas, teachers, whatever. So, awesome. A uh, couple cute, I guess, ice cream bowls that I found. They had yellow and green bases as well. And I'm hoping that the bases don't peel off. I don't know if any of you guys saw. They were kind of like mason um, handled cups and they they had blue they had a lime green they had red and then they had clear well I had bought uh, the blue and the red and it, it was peeling off the color it was like a gel type of painted coating and I ended up honestly just having to toss those because I didn't want to drink out of them it, it kept coming off so if you see those mugs out there, you know, you might not want to use them for actually drinking out of. Um, okay, nails. I found a bunch of nails. So I will just go through. I love these sassy and chic nails. I love these green ones. They're just so, I don't know, summery and cute. These navy ones here. These remind me of Tron or something like that. I don't know. They're they're different, but I grabbed them. I um, thought these were really pretty. Hopefully you can see those pretty well. And these are all kind of that uh, short sport length, which is what I like to wear. These leopard print ones. These are pretty hot looking. I actually got a few boxes of those. I thought these were different and pretty. I like the colors in them. So yeah, if you're looking for nails, they are unleashing some new nails. Um, some food products that I found. I mean, nothing crazy here, but they had hamburger helper stroganoff and I'm not crazy about hamburger helper. I really don't care for it, period. But it is good to have. It's convenient. Um, I don't mind the stroganoff too much. I usually add something to bolster the flavors in these, but for a dollar for just an easy meal to throw together, eh, why not? I found some of these chewy oat bars that I've been seeing other people haul. 
and they had it in chocolate chip and then I got it in coconut white chip those sounded pretty good and then I got a bag of these to try these are ready pasta fully cooked no preservatives all natural Gemelli and it says they're al dente or cooked in 60 seconds to al dente perfection so thought they were pretty interesting they feel weird but let's give it a try you know and this could be really easy i don't know if at your dt's they had the Velveeta cheese sauce and just the envelope it was just the cheese sauce um, so maybe if you got one of these and a couple of those cheese sauces, you could throw together some, you know, easy mac and cheese. And then I found these upside down here. Yeah. Pop chips, Galaxy Puff. I really have no clue. I'm guessing they're kind of like cheesy poofs. Says they're age white cheddar, but. They said Star Wars and they have BB-8 on here, so I had to get them, give them a try. And there are six packs in there, so pretty cool. And then I found these Krispy Kreme Donut Cake Mix with Original Donut Glaze. So I thought that looked delicious, and it doesn't say that it's like a lemon flavor or anything. So I think when I make this, um, I'm gonna do it in a bump pan and I'm either gonna add some orange um, flavoring or some lemon flavoring to that just to give it a kick. So yummy, they only had one or else I think I probably would have got a couple of those. And all right, one more bag. find area here okay so oh and I ended up picking up the donut bag I just I've been seeing it and I haven't picked it up I've been passing on it and then I don't know something I just couldn't resist I'm like it's just too cute to pass up so something that I saw at Dollar Tree I mean, I know Dollar Tree has a lot of educational type of items, but I've never seen these particular type. And these were, they're reproducibles, so you can make copies. Um, and this one here is multiplication and division time tests. And it says grade three on there, but um, Lily's been having a little bit of trouble just memorizing and learning the multiplication tables. So I thought over the summer this would be something that we could do with her and just, you know, keep it all fresh in her mind. And what I found to go along with this instead of making copies was they had these reusable pockets. So it's just, you know, a plastic type of sheet and you put your paper in there and then you can just, you know, use a dry erase marker and just wipe it clean so you can reuse them over and over again. So I thought that was really cool. Um, there are 38 sheets, 38 different tests in this packet. So it's really awesome. And then we got a U.S. History. This is for grade four to six, so this is perfect. Um, and let's see this is also 38 sheets and then we got geography again this is 38 sheets grade four to six and to go along with the geography we got um a map and then we got a science experiments and inventions and again 38 sheets and we just got this um, educational poster it's a solar system and then just to make it
kind of fun. We got these certificate of completion to go along with that. So, yeah, you know, we're going to do a little uh, clean school over the summertime. Um, I'm looking forward to that. I miss school myself. So, but I, I guess you don't know what you've got, like I say, until it's gone. And I'd much rather be going to school and having summer vacation than working five days a week from, you know, the age of 18 until, let's say, I turn probably until I die, I'll be working. But, you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> um, okay. I found a couple more of the planner items. I already have all these, but I know that my daughter Katie had mentioned after she watched the video that she was wanting some of the planner stuff and she couldn't find it. So Katie, I got you some of the stickers and I found the, kind of like the to-do lists and then I found the internet passwords. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't find any of the other stuff. They didn't have any, but I will continue to keep my eye out. Um, something I haven't seen, I found these, what are they calling them? Trombones, paper clips. So, I don't like those really thin, old school type of paper clips. You know, the original style. Um, to me, they just they always fall off of everything. So I get my own paper clips and keep them at work. And I like these, you know, thicker kind that really seem to grip the paper. So, yeah. Cool. Uh, some home decor items that I found. just thought these were really cute they are metal and they're kind of heavy but I just thought they were really pretty so I'll see if Lily wants these for her room I thought she might like them let's be mermaids I'll probably bring this one to work work that crown really cute <laughs> It fell. And <laughs> this one is not metal. This is you know, like wood and mermazing. So just thought those are pretty. A um, couple new wall decor signs. Live simply and be thankful. And this is our happily ever after. So yeah, and then I found this one that says, say a sweet prayer and kiss me goodnight. Really cute. And I'm not going to lie, I could not remember if I had this one. I know I have one that looks similar to this. I wasn't sure though, so I don't know. If I have a duplicate, then this one will go in a future giveaway. <laughs> So let me know. Would you be interested in one of these? <laughs> All right, and I think we are just about done. I have one more item, and this is for Katie. And um, I didn't forget you. This is the notepad in the letter K, and I just I love these so much. And this one says "Hope in the Lord." So now. All of us girls have our own little notepads with our name. And that was everything, you guys. I really thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video. Please comment below. Let me know, you know some of your wish list items, what you like. Um, I just really want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for sticking with me and watching my videos and supporting me. I am... Um, so close to getting to 100 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would just really appreciate it. Um, I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers simply because 
I, I don't know if you don't if you know anything about YouTube you have to have 100 subscribers to be able to have a unique channel URL so I want to be able to hit that 100 so I can lock in my channel name date and the life of a trucker's wife that way nobody else can scoop it up so that is my goal and after that you know if I go over a hundred great if I don't that's fine. I'm still going to be here putting out videos and I appreciate those of you who are here and subscribed right now. So thank you again and I will see you all soon and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.